hey guys how are you doing today hi and welcome welcome back to another episode of mean greeny so today we will be talking about best plants that can be used to purify water but before we get into that i want to make a few clarification so in my last episode the um the conversation or the discussion about the hardness of water in shillong related to the fact that there were naturally occurring heavy metals present in the water not that the hardness of the water was human induced but it was naturally occurring i just showed that ex example just to explain to you all the negative impacts of heavy metals in our water bodies an example of a highly polluted water is the Luka River in the East Gentia Hills. Now, the Luka River is known to have this very light bluish color and that is due to the heavy effluence coming from coal mines. Now, this has, this has caused fishes to just, hundreds of fishes to die out and this has been occurring since 2007 and it's been an ongoing thing so when you see the Luka river you might be like oh it's so beautiful but it is heavy polluted another heavy polluted water is the waterways around Akongbon. pardon me if i mistook that or i said it wrongly but it's around the cms area that place is highly polluted due to plastics people even defecate in that in the river so you have you have these situations about polluted waters and the thing is that it will be very costly to implement or start using big water treatment plant plants like heavy machinery of course so what is the best way to treat your water individually and that is what this is going to this video is going to be about best plants that you can have in your homes that are very good in treating and purifying water. The first one, everybody, everybody knows this. It's popular in India as well as Nigeria and it's called the Moringa tree. Now this tree is known to be highly beneficial, medicinal, the barks, the seed, the leaves they're just used for different 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 ailments but today we're just going to talk about the <laughs> properties of the seeds the seeds are crushed and powdered to fine particles and these are immersed in water and they are known to treat wastewater uh, remove the hardness of water so it's very beneficial to have this tree around now for those people that don't have spaces to plant tree here is a plant that you can have in your garden it's the bitter leaf vegetable everybody uses it for its delicacy in soup because of its rich mineral content as well as you know fiber but apart from that according to the guardian newspaper it is bitter leaf is also enlisted as a plant that is really good for water filtration so i mean why don't you have that in your garden you'd have the benefits of gaining access to clean water as well as having access to leafy vegetables for your soup another plant is the hibiscus plant or as nigerians we know it as zobo now these you can plant it in your homes because their, uh, their seeds as well as their calyx is a very good coagulant for hardness of water. So usually, usually the calyx of the hibiscus, they are dried, pulverized, then added to the water. And these act as coagulants in water treatment facilities. And it is even comparable to alum. So, I mean, you have Zobo drink and you also have a way to purify your water. Another plant, Indians would know this, it's more of a tree. This is the Amla tree or the gooseberry tree. Instead of the leaves or the seeds, they use the bark. The bark is dried, cut into pieces and shredded. So it's known to even make water tasteless if it was initially salt. Studies showed that when Amla was immersed in that, the water was devoid of these form of hardness so another is the eucalyptus tree 
they're not native to Nigeria, but they are found everywhere. And if you have this tree, apart from its beauty and also some of its medicinal properties, it has also been studied and it is known that the bark of the tree also, when it is dried, grinded and added in wastewater, it removes the hardness of the water as well as oil, the met metals such as chromium from the water. Neem. Now, neem is a plant known all over and it is known to have benefits, whether it is health, environment, it is an eco pesticide, but also it is another good water purifying tree. All you need to do is after drying the leaves, you crush them and pass them through a sieve to form a powder. And this powder is mixed in the water and the neem helps in the removement, uh, removal of total solids, the hardness, calcium and magnesium hardness. There are many more, there are many more researches being done on the types of trees that are good as water purifiers. So I hope you enjoyed this. I mentioned six of them. Just see it as a way, as a project to have these planted in your house, whether it's in your office or have them in your garden and to make life more beneficial. And hey, it's also green. So we've come to the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you know any other trees, I would also love to learn. Please put it down in the comments below. I love hearing from you all and I will catch you next time with another video. Let's start imperfectly this 2021. Bye.